Yeah. It is private property. Like, I was so sort of lost, for, lost for words. Like, here we go. We're back again. So, what do you think happens to the dairy cows when they can't produce milk anymore? Oh yeah. Um, well, it's true. Come and debate. I've seen you on YouTube. Have you? <laughs> Have you really, mate? Australia. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Did you just, you just come back from the dairy show? I am on the farmer. Oh, you're a farmer? Yeah, how you going, buddy? What's your name? Richard Morley. Richard Morley. Ah, yeah. oh, cool. Oh, no, you're quite famous, you are. Yeah. yeah. Are you yeah. a dairy farmer? A dairy farmer, yeah. You don't want to have a conversation about why milk isn't murder? <laughs> no, not really. I've got to get back up. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you do. No, well, I've seen you. I've seen you. You're very good. You, 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 you take some arguing with. Okay. Yeah, you're a good chap. Thanks, buddy. Anyway, well, I appreciate that. We are, I'm sure we could have a civilised discussion Absolutely. one time, mate. Thank you, buddy. Well, how cool is that? that? That we are from opposing... So I obviously disagree completely with what he does for a living, but the way that he come up to me, shook my hand civilly, and said that he appreciates the arguments that I give, I thought that that was a really genuine thing for him to do, even though I don't appreciate the uh, exploitation of the uh, dairy cows. I suppose it's pretty hard for a dairy farmer who knows what happens to all their dairy cows to sort of oppose this fact, you know, because it's quite objectively true and all it takes is someone to look up standard, standard industry practice to know that all dairy cows are slaughtered for beef. Hey, Izzy, Izzy, come here. This man wants to send Annabelle to the slaughterhouse. Oh, Wouldn't, that Annabelle. Wouldn't that be awful? Wouldn't that be awful? Are you farmers? Yeah. Are you a dairy farmer? Yeah. You are? Yeah. So what do you do with your dairy cows when they're pr finished producing for you? What happens to people when they finish their lives and they... They die naturally? Yeah, so can cows. Do, you, do your cows die naturally? No. You send them to the slaughterhouse? I'm not, I'm not look, no, no, I, I, no, I think no. they're all sent to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, this is all being filmed by the way, so yeah, I'm just let, but it's standard practice for dairy cows when they stop producing milk to be sent off to slaughter. I think we are kinder to our cows than people are kinder to their older people that are suffering. But you send your cows to the slaughterhouse, we wouldn't do that to older people. That's all I'm saying. No, but you'd let them suffer. I would let an older person suffer, yeah. not if it was in my control. Well, that's it, isn't I wouldn't it? kill them though. No, ah, but sometimes it's kinder. Do you eat uh, uh, cows? Hmm? Do you eat beef? Only if it's on our own. Would you eat an older person if they were so, you know? So we don't treat so animals you, like you we treat people. You wouldn't bury them in. Sorry? People get buried. Well, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't support the slaughter of human beings. But sometimes it is kinder to put an animal down if it's suffering. But, but are your cows suffering? You told me that, that, that your cows aren't suffering, no? I'm telling you that if our cows are suffering, we get the better. And if they can't do nothing to help them get better, then it is kinder. So euthanasia if they're suffering? Euthanasia. So all your dairy cows are suffering and that's why you send them no. to the slaughterhouse? No. So what about the ones that aren't suffering? They're not suffering. What about the ones that aren't suffering? Do they get slaughtered too? You are not would, would you put a person, would you euthanise a person in a suffering? Do all your cows no, go to the slaughterhouse? You, would you euthanise a person that is suffering? I that's a different context. That's, that's in their best interest. Dairy industry is not in the cow's best interest, yeah? So you'd rather... So produ producing milk from dairy cows then, isn't in what the... What do you eat then? What do you eat? I, I eat all plant-based food. Yeah, so where does all your plants come from? Uh, the plants that yeah. I eat, yeah. where do they come from? Yeah. Farms. Yeah, where? Sorry? What do you eat? Do you eat avocados? No. Bananas? Uh, so, sometimes I eat berries, I eat um, oats, I eat... Um, oats. You still need that to be grown on farms? Yeah. And unless you, you fertilise the land... What's this got to do with whether or not milk is murder, by the way? I'm asking I'm saying milk is murder changed my mind. And are you saying that it's not murder to slaughter dairy cows? I don't agree with you. You, you don't agree? You ought to come to the farm and spend some time on the farm with us. Can I? Yeah, we'd have been quite happy for it. Well, give me your email address. How do I contact? I'll come to the farm. Yeah. We can come film some... South Wales and then can I follow the cows to the slaughterhouse? Why would you want to do that? To film them being slaughtered so I can show people. Now, if you want anything to do with slaughterhouse, you stop the halal killing. I, I, I'm, a, I'm opposed to halal as well. I, so am I. I I'm opposed to both, cruel. though. I don't think shooting a cow in the head and slashing their throat is good either, though. And I'm not saying that you're a bad person. You know, you've just been brought up into the dairy farming culture. Yes, okay, yes. so I think that you don't th think what you're doing is okay. morally wrong. But from the cow's point of view, 
they don't want to be slaughtered, do they? What do you think in, about uh, Africa and where the lions oh, kill the animals? I think that that's a completely different context and scenario. That's a survival situation. Yes. What we're doing to cows is unjustified. We don't, have a, we don't have a reason to do this to cows. But we have the cow, right? We carve her down. We look after that calf. It's our best. Do you take it away from the mother? The calf away from the mother? Listen, I fed more calves and kept them Yes or no? That's all I'm asking. Is it yes or no? Do you take the calf away from the mother? Yes. Do they pine do out know, for that? Do you know why? Because some of the calves will not suck their mothers. Do the, do now, the mothers... Do you know that? Do, do the you mothers, realize that? Do the mothers pine out for their calves? The cows are used to it. They're used to it? Yes. I'm asking whether they pine out for their young. They become used to it, maybe the third or fourth calving, but the oh, first no. calving, do they pine out for their young? Sometimes you'll get a cow that'll kill a calf. Sometimes? Yes. Sometimes you get humans that kill their children. Should we take all children away from mothers here too? Do you think should should we idea? take children away from mothers? Do you think that's mothers? a good idea then? I don't think taking children away from mothers is okay just so we can have cheese. When we can have vegan cheese made of plants. No slaughterhouses needed. So you'd rather kill all the cows then? You don't want no cows? I'd rather not breed them to exploit them and kill them. But you, so you'd rather not see any cows about? I'd rather just leave animals be. Leave them be? You'd rather them I'd rather them not be exploited and killed for cheese. That's all. Yeah, but unless you've got people that are farming them, the cows haven't got... They didn't them. exist before we started farming them? Not, not, not the hybrids we have now. I don't think exploitation is okay. Not for cheese. Not for cheese. Make cheese out of coconut milk. <laughs> I love that. I do. I you like it? I eat it myself. I'd buy it off you. If you, if you produced it, I'd buy it and promote it. But can we grow coconuts here? Maybe... Soya milk? Try soya milk. Anyway, there's plenty of other options. Obviously that lady, she didn't... I don't think she really knew the... the she's never really considered the ethical implications of what she does. I kind of feel a little bit... bad for her, like, in a way, like... It's all she's, all she's ever known, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I yeah. get it. What did you guys think of that conversation? I, mean, I, think, I think it's, yeah, I don't know what to say to be honest. Yeah, I know, because she's a dairy farmer and she knows she sends all her cows to the, to the slaughterhouse. All I'm saying is milk is murder, that's all. Like, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you're a horrible person. She's been brought up into farming culture, you know what I mean? She thinks it's, it's, it's just actually so normalised, people don't even look at it as wrong. But people don't obviously follow their cows to the, the slaughterhouse and watch them bleed out either. I don't think, I don't think they should go to the slaughterhouse to be fair. Yeah, well, it's just a requirement for them to be profitable business. They have to slaughter them at some stage and produce and breed more and keep that process going and sell them off for beef. And otherwise, it's just not going to be profitable or doable. So, no. yeah. I totally agree with this. Like you said, why, t why take a child from its mom? She said, because sometimes a cow kills their baby, but how many humans kill their babies? We don't take children uh, away from mothers because some humans kill their babies. No, exactly. You know. This is a challenge 22, it's a vegan challenge. So if you, when you purchase dairy products, you're supporting this industry that you're probably morally against, you know, in your heart, you don't want to see what happens to cows, but when you pay for dairy products, you know, and here, this is called Dairy is Scary. Sorry, they're a bit worn, these cards, I've had them for a while. Mm. You want to sit down? Yeah. I'll sit down okay. and speak to you. Um, <laughs> you agree with me? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, so the yeah. statement is milk is murder. I don't drink milk, so... Do you eat any dairy products at all? Do you yogurt, cheese? Yeah, I do, yeah. yeah. But I don't have a lot of it. You don't have a lot of it? No. So if everyone were to not have a lot of uh, dairy, so say everyone had a little bit of chocolate cheese here and there, how, much, how many slaughterhouses do you think would have to be open to slaughter those dairy cows when they stop producing? Not a lot. Not a lot? No. But do you think a smaller amount of slaughterhouses is better than no slaughterhouses? I prefer if there's no slaughterhouses, to yeah. be honest. It'd be better if there wasn't a place that was built specifically yeah. to murder animals. Yeah, well, technically it's the circle of life, really. You know, the cows eat the grass, we eat the cows. Technically, we're grasses, you know, grass eaters as well, because they eat the grass. We can just eat the plants directly too, yo, though, yeah? Well, yeah, like nuts and oats and everything else. But yeah, we've got plenty of plant foods to eat. There's no, not necessary for us to kill each other or to kill cows or to kill other animals. Well, no. You don't see each other killing each other, you know. And it's... we wouldn't say circle of life if I killed someone. No, we wouldn't. We would say that's murder. Go to jail. Yeah, exactly. Why? It's exactly the same. Like, you murder someone, you go to jail. Why yeah. is it different for any animal? Well, any but... animal for that. Yeah, I guess, what are the justifications people use to consume dairy and meat and stuff? 
well, if they want to eat that, then that's your choice. But how, how, what are the reason? What's their reasoning behind consuming that? Mm, not quite sure. Nutrients, protein, taste. What are they? Well, why do you consume animal products? Because it's nice. <laughs> they taste nice, and yeah. it's all you've been ever been taught. It's all you've yeah. known. Yeah, yeah, it is. But then again, I like you know veggies and fruit, which I like rather eat but then again you know you go to mcdonald's you get a cheeseburger that's my dad cow but they got a spicy veg trio there that's actually vegan friendly uh so you know you can get vegan burgers and vegan cheese and vegan ice cream vegan pizza vegan burritos all those things as well yeah, yeah. you can get loads of vegan stuff i yeah. just think everyone should just try vegan and see if their opinion on it people just go oh it's vegan you know it's horrible but if you haven't tried it then try it you know there's nothing wrong in trying new things what do you think is more horrible, vegan food or slaughtered animal bodies? Slaughtered animal bodies. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you think about it, well, if you go to a slaughterhouse on that, you look at the way they've been treated and you just turn around and you're like, yeah, I don't want to eat that, you know. I personally don't eat pig because I like pigs and I wouldn't save all the pigs, but that's my opinion. Do you think uh, someone's likability should dictate their rights of life? Not really, no. But yeah. like, I, like you know, animals can't speak to us, so yeah. they can't really say, "Oh no, I don't want to be killed." Yeah, we but, could just presume that by them avoiding bolt guns and knives, that they don't want to be killed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Why, you know, it's like poachers who hunt. Yeah, I understand they have to hunt to live, but poachers have to hunt to live. Yeah, some of them. So a poacher is someone who, like, you know, might hunt elephants and take their tusks and sell their tusks on a black market or whatever no don't agree yeah. with that at all There's so when, no when you bring survival into the context that changes the situation doesn't yeah, it because yeah, you're doing what right. you've got to do to survive yeah, yeah exactly yeah but if you like people do it for sport why do it just go and do something else instead of killing innocent animals so they're getting pleasure out of killing animals but yeah. when we say our oh, animal products taste nice we're sort of getting pleasure out of killing animals yeah pretty much so it's not really morally different is it no not really it's the action that causes, you know, the action of purchasing animal products supports the industry that causes the murder of animals, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Good. Yeah. It's not really a debate here. It's more like you're agreeing with these two <laughs> points. You're actually making some good points yourself. Well, hey-ho, you got to try and save everything. You promise to try a vegan challenge and then email me, tell me how you go? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Joey Carbstrong on Instagram. You can tell I me how you... you are. Oh, you do? Yeah. How do you know? Ah, YouTube... You see me on YouTube? Of course I have. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> uh, but wait, you're not a vegan. You're a fan of my work, but you're not a vegan. How does that work? I just think you're an amazing guy. He just <laughs> shows everyone there's a different part of it. Well, you know what I think would be more amazing? If everyone tried vegan. If you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will do. Okay. Really well, nice talking very to you. Much. Thank you so thank much. You. Bye. So all in all, I would say that that was... Uh, Successful day, very interesting, quite weird being in there at that dairy show. Um, not very convinced by anyone, not, not really um, willing to change my mind based on the arguments people gave. I'm not very convincing, I still think milk is murder. And completely and utterly one of the most bizarre things that we do uh, to animals is the dairy industry. You know, raping animals, impregnating them, sucking their udders for their baby fluid, killing calves, and then murdering them and eating their bodies afterwards. It's like something out of a horror movie. P replace the cows with humans, and you've just created a horror movie.